Kujo has a secret or not well known option that you could be taking advantage of. This option that I'm talking about is the web editor of Gojo. This means that you don't need to have Gojo download in your PC, you can actually use an online version. Incredible, just incredible. So now let's start. Firstly, in order to open this uh, Gojo web editor, you have to go to the official website of Gojo, then click where it says download. We have to wait a couple of seconds. Then we click here it says web editor. And here we have our uh, Gojo web editor. In the top part of the screen, we can see we have three different windows, the loader, the editor, and the game. Firstly, we have the video driver. Uh, I should leave it in automatic, I believe. Then we can preload project zip, choose file, no file chosen, or we can put here, try this for example. We can start the Gojo editor and clear the persistent data. So I am not going to preload nothing, I'm just going to start the Gojo editor. Um, and now we have here an online version of Gojo. This is version 3.5.1. I think the web editor is only for uh, the Gojo 3 version. You don't have a web editor for Gojo 4. Now I'm just going to quickly create a new project just like any other project in Gojo. So Gojo 3 web editor test, for example. Okay, now and I'm going to press create an edit as this is like a beta version of the web editor maybe some things uh, don't work perfectly fine but as you could see uh, it didn't take a lot to uh, load our project so very simple i'm going to create a new 2d scene name it for example hello hello world i'm going to also save this scene and then i'm going to attach a script with a template of empty Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to create uh, another node. In this case, I'm going to create sprite. Sprite. Perfect. And then on this sprite, I'm going to uh, quick load the icon of Gojo. And uh, in this script, on the uh, punk ready. I'm going to grab this sprite and then I'm going to change the modulate so that we change the color to some something like color dot uh, red for example so I'm just going to press play I'm going to select the current scene now uh, I believe we are on the game scene uh, okay we have our uh, good job icon in red I'm going to stop the execution of the game uh, I don't really understand these uh, warnings. Uh, there is also a web editor documentation in which you can see, um, for, for example, uh, some limitations. For example, you can't use C sharp. Uh, you can't export the project. Um, the editor won't warn you when closing the tab with unsaved changes. Um, no support for external script editor so for example if you're using uh, i don't know visual studio code you won't be able to use it as well and then you also have like a tutorial or uh, a guide about how to do some things with this web editor how to import a project um how to edit and run a project what are the project files okay you have lots of information here so if I were you and I wanted to actually use this web editor and I wanted to create a project, I would definitely read with all this information. As you can see, it isn't very long, so you should probably read it. Then how you can load this project again if, let's say, you're programming, okay, you just want to close. Remember to save your changes by going to scene and save all scenes or also you can press Control shift alt s or Control shift s to eh, no Control s to save the scene um, so this is a very simple example it was just to try out this uh, web editor so what i will try to do is to only uh, close my editor okay 
so now i would like to actually uh, load again this person because i don't have it like in a local way i have it on the cloud or in gojo servers i don't know so i'm going to press start gojo editor and okay i have my project here gojo 3 web editor test so i will open it up uh it's taking okay it wasn't that bad and then i have my screen my two notes and if i play everything should be working fine okay it's you know, perfect everything is working just fine um so then other um thing i would like to try is to uh, close my my web browser in this case it's opera gx open it again and let's see what happens okay here we are again um i believe uh, we just have to click start Gojo editor and we should have exactly our project um, So I will just load it and try to see if everything's fine. Yes, everything is fine One thing that you can't do that maybe um, Is difficult to get used to is that you can't drag the game window because you have here the game window so sometimes when you are executing your game, you want to have your um, game window. But as you can see, I can't drag and drop it. I can do nothing. Um, so maybe it's difficult to get to get used to it. So one thing I don't really understand about this web editor is about why would you use this? I mean, Gojo is a low requirements app. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a lot of hardware to uh, make it work. Why would you use the web editor? I don't understand that part. But anyway, uh, I think it's great. It's another option about how you can use Gojo. Why I think it's like a secret or something like that. Because, for example, if we go to the latest beta, which is beta 9, uh, which was released on December 19, uh, you can see here well, the, what's new, blah, 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 blah. We have the download, and we have here, as usual, the standard build and the net build, known issues, bug reports, and support. But we don't have here the web editor. And then, if you go to download, is where you will find it. But think about it, you're not downloading anything. So, uh, I don't know, for me it was very confusing. Because, for example, in Linux, Mac, Windows, Linux Server, Android, you have to actually download something. That's why it's called download, right? But in the web editor, uh, you just open it, so it's not downloading, I believe. Well. Other thing that I will try is to preload project zip or to um, open a project that was created with executable version of Gojo. So I have here Gojo 3.5.1. I'm going to open it up. I've just created a new empty project. I call it Gojo Web Editor. Um, just to make an example, I'm going to again create a new sprite and i'm going to again quick load this icon but this time i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so now i will try to load this project in the web editor as you can see this is the um the executable version of gojo this is the folder on which i have all my gojo projects i have here gojo web editor this is the project i've just created and then here it says preload project zip. So I believe I'm going to just make this folder a zip and then uh, load it. So now here you can see Gojo editor.zip and inside here I have all of my files. I want to click here, it says choose file and try to load this up. Okay, here it says Gojo web editor zip. Uh, no file chosen, what? Okay, here we are again and i don't know i just click start gojo editor or uh, i don't really understand we have here uh, install project reload project name reload and i believe we are just installing so i'm going to put gojo web editor maybe i'm going to create another another folder and then i'm going to click install and edit and we will have our project 
Okay, yes. Yes, we have it here. Nah, man, this is incredible. I'm going to select the current scene. And now we should have our icon. <laughs> incredible. The, the things that Gujo is doing. Wow, man. Again, I don't understand why would you use this uh, web editor when, why, I don't know. But we are not here to, to talk about why or when would you use this web editor. We are here to try this web editor and I can say that you can make a, a game, a simple game, maybe. We haven't tried the, the 3D environment of Guljo. I don't really know how to make 3D things. Uh, I'm not going to test these uh, 3D things because uh, I believe that if you want to make 3D things, you wouldn't be using, firstly, good job. If you want to make very complex things with, I don't know, very complex things that I don't really understand because I've never made a 3D project. Uh, why would you use the web editor? But anyway, I think that this version of good job is very nice. Uh, if you want to try this out, go to this uh, website, editor.godotengine.org and then you will have this amazing uh, Gojo web editor. This is all for today's video. Remember to subscribe and like for more. Bye bye.